this is a brief history of the hist or this is a brief history of pimping in America as it relates to a black man that the, the uh, women selling their body has been around forever but just as far as our involvement in American culture I'm gonna go over that real quick right so of course like a lot of the incidents and mishaps that I speak about regarding black culture and black life the root of this problem as well that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video the root of this problem as well is white supremacy and I'll explain to you how so like most things the the black man and woman in America being involved being involved in leak in, in in actual pimping and pandering where a woman is agreeing to give her body for money this started after slavery so as we all are aware by this by this point when black women were enslaved they were raped like that that's that's pretty commonplace at this point everybody knows that so black women when they were enslaved they got raped they got beat regardless of the age i was reading some book is early as like 10 years old maybe even a little bit earlier you know what i mean so our women as well as we did caught hell during antebellum slavery right so what happened once we were free because keep in mind family when melanated americans were free quote unquote and not required to be slaves anymore they weren't really given any resources they weren't given any startup money they weren't given any they weren't given anything coupled with the fact that they had been through this tumultuous time period where they couldn't read write or do anything for themselves then they were just released into the united states or whatever it was called at that time you feel me but the point is they weren't mentally financially equipped to handle being on their own in like co-mingling in the american populace being this new free person who don't feel free a lot of racism still in the air a lot of tension still in the air so you can only imagine being in that position right so a lot of the women at that time not a lot but some of the women at that time in order to make ends meet said you know what while i was a slave i got raped so I, I'm, I can offer this white man who still lust after my black body ha like they always have. I can use his lustful intentions to my advantage and I can do the same thing we were doing when he was raping me. But now I'll get paid for it. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is pretty basic on how the black man and woman got involved in pimping in America. So the black woman was an ex-slave, needed income didn't feel bad doing something that she be, had become familiar with already unfortunately you see what i'm saying so boom so we go there and then at that point she began to sell her body get her money however she could mostly white men or all white men at this point but a a, a new element became like a new element started to creep in where now we have um men who are rough we have men who were looking to rob the females. We have men who were looking to rape the females. So the masculine energy of the men that be that were the customers became too much. So now you need protection. So this is how the whole pimp and hope thing began to formulate because she just needed protection from, you know, men who were a little bit too unruly, right? Or, 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 or too unruly. And black men at this time, you know, would it, what it did accomplish to a degree is just the self-esteem that it gave a black man to create a economy outside of the white power structure. Because at this point they're just released. Of course, there isn't jobs that are readily available. How are you going to survive? So pimping like for a black man talking specifically about the black man at this point, pimping for the black man was a sense of, of pride. Like it was, I'm I'm getting over on Whitey almost. Like I'm re rebelling against the system that's been beating my ass since I can re since I can remember. You see what I'm saying? So it was a sense of rebellion, a sense of um, I could be successful without you, basically. You feel me? And also keep it in mind that the at this time, like the early 1900s, the pimping in or or prostitution, that sex trafficking, like whatever you want to call it it created a booming uh, economy for the black people like for 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 people on the underground it to to operate 
a ring where sex is being provided, you need alcohol, you need a doorman, you need security, you need. So it, it, it actually at this time provided a whole bunch of jobs as well. Keep it in mind, it's providing jobs for black folks who are just being freed, can't read, some can't write like they're in a um, they're in a horrific position already. So certain things like this become enticing. So it created an underground economy, right? 